Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me uh, first impressions type video. So I'm going to be using a lot of the products that I hauled in my last video um, just so you guys can get my opinions on them, my first impressions, and I will let you know um, what I think. And my cat is being so annoying. She keeps trying to get in and out of the room. So to save time in this video, I have already moisturized with my usual moisturizer. I have already primed my under eyes with the Pure Hydrogel Lift. You know, I love this stuff. And the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I don't know that I've really commented on this yet, but holy crap. If you have pores, mm, this takes them away. I also did my usual foundation, which is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream in Medium. Don't worry, I bought a couple new foundations, so you won't be seeing this one all the time anymore. And then I also did my eyebrows again with the usual items that I always use. So all that stuff will be listed down below if you're interested or new to my channel and have no idea what it is that I use all the time. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna use is this NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I don't know how it looks on camera, but I see a lot of like reddish blue tones under my eyes. So this is basically just a color corrector that you put under your eyes. So you just take a little bit of this. It has just that peachy salmon tone. And you want to put this starting right underneath the inner corner of the eye. This helps to brighten everything. And just bring this down. I'm just going to put a little bit in this outer corner here. I don't know if you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. I'm trying to see in the viewfinder if there's a, a difference between how much more bright and awake this eye is compared to this one. And then I am going to use my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I love this stuff. This is such a good concealer. And I'm just going to put a couple dots here on the center of the nose. Well, that's not really the center. Uh, a little bit on Gomez, my chin. And then I want to get some of this under the eyes. So when you use concealer, concealer has more pigment and gives uh, more coverage uh, to a small area than what your foundation can do. Uh, so when you are using a concealer, what you actually want to be using is a shade that's one or two shades lighter than your foundation. Because when you're placing this, like I did down the center of the nose, uh, the forehead, underneath my eyes, these areas we want, that's where the, the light naturally hits us. And it's going to bring those features forward and that's what we want to highlight in our face when you are contouring that is where you want to put shadows that would be where like I have nothing on my face right now but if I'm turning and I suck in a little bit you see that shadow right there okay that is the, po the point of contouring is to create shadows because that is going to make you look like you have cheekbones or make your nose look smaller or make it look like you don't have a double chin uh, all that fun stuff so Again, with your concealer, you want something that is one to two shades lighter than your foundation. Um, and, you know, by putting it down the center of your face where the light naturally hits you, it's going to bring those features forward. That is what you want to emphasize to highlight. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is setting the areas that I put the concealer down so that it doesn't crease. And I am going to be using my 
our CMA no color powder. This stuff is awesome. Um, I ordered mine on a website called Beautylish. I'll, I'll list that down below. Um, you get three ounces of this powder for $10. This is basically just going to set all that concealer in place so that it doesn't crease. Um, a lot of people will take their uh, dampened beauty sponge and just dip it in here and you can kind of press it in, you know, all the places that you put concealer. Or if you want, you can take just like a little fluffy brush and, and press it in whichever you would prefer. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, I think for today I'm just going to use this little powder brush and I'm just going to set the under eye. And up to this point, I have tried all of those products, so none of that so far has been a first impression. But, but, I am going to go ahead and try the Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. I'm so excited and so nervous. And I'm going to be using this Real Techniques stippling brush. I don't really know how, how it's going to work, but, you know, this is brand new not used and there's freaking cat hair in it swirl in here and let's see what this looks like it's a really um light um, natural looking color. But so far, I mean, just seeing what I can see, it does look really nice, really light and natural. Um, I don't think it looks too Orange. I don't think it looks too orange or anything like that. Um, so I guess uh, first impressions looks pretty good. I'll be curious to see, you know, how it lasts throughout the day if the color stays there. So I am gonna take my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. This is her contour palette, and I think I am gonna take this shade right here and my fan brush. The point of contouring is to create shadows because you want it to look like you have chiseled out cheekbones and you know every other facial feature that you want. Um, if you're wondering where to place your contour, again I'm not a makeup artist but from everything that I've read and watched and you know tried to teach myself the most ideal way to place your contour is to go from the this top portion of your ear and kind of just make it like an angle like this angle right here and just go down slightly towards your mouth you don't want to bring it too far forward because that can look really manly um, I usually stop mine you'll see like I keep it farther back and you never want to bring your contour down because that would defeat the purpose of it you want it to go up. So blend it up. You can see I'm keeping it farther back towards my ear and I'm blending it up. And I believe I've mentioned this before in a video but if you ever feel like you accidentally took your contour down too low um, or it's looking a little crazy you can just you can just take a brush and like a lighter powder and just kind of clean up right below it and that will kind of take away that it'll take it away if you did accidentally bring it down too low 
want to set that cream bronzer in place. So I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. And I'm just going to use that same stippling brush because why not? And I'm just going to set that over the top. You always want to set your cream products. Otherwise, they will tend to break down a lot faster, melt away, just look bad. <laughs> Especially if you are someone who is oily, you always, always want to set your cream products. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this Inglot palette that I had put together. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mix, I think I'm going to mix these two shades right here. And I'm just going to use that same brush because again, why not? And again, these are super pigmented. So I'm just really lightly tapping into these, tapping off the excess. Those are so pretty. I love mixing blushes together. I, sometimes I might wear like three blushes in the same day because they're that pretty. That went on really well. Again, they're super pigmented. Um, Inglot is an awesome brand. I just think it's so cool that you can, you know, pick whatever you want. You can make your own, your own palette. You can do your own thing, you know. So if you have certain colors you really like, put them in this. This is awesome. The next thing I'm going to use is the Jaclyn Hill Becca Face Palette. It does have the two highlight shades on top and the three blushes down here. Since I already used blush, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mix those two highlight shades, Champagne Pop right here and Prosecco Pop, which is her new one, which is more of that golden color. I'm gonna mix those two together and put those on the highest points of my cheeks. That glow is so pretty. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm super excited I got this. I was actually kind of hesitant. I didn't really know if I wanted to buy this, but I'm glad I did. I love Champagne Pop. I love Jaclyn Hill. I mean, the Becca products are incredible. I think... This is just beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Fix Plus setting spray to just go ahead and uh, set all my powders so that they soak into the skin and look more natural. Mm. I really wish they'd make this into a perfume. This smells so good. So what I'm actually going to be using is um, that Inglot pigment that I just purchased and hauled in my last video. This is again number 85. It's that um, duochrome like purple, green, brownish kind of color. I'm so excited. First, I'm going to go ahead and just put down painterly like always. Now when you use uh, pigments like this, and I believe I mentioned this in the haul video, they're going to give off more color they're going to be more intense if you put a base down below them so i want to show you um what like th what three different things would look like so i have a a brown base i have a black base and then i also am going to be using a green underneath like a forest green this one right here i put down a brown base and it almost looks more, like this one's picking up more reddish purple tones okay the center one I put down a black base and you can see that one is definitely the most intense in color very deep um, and I feel like that one is picking up a lot more blue like really deep deep blue and then this last one I laid down a like a forest green kind of color and 
put again put the same pigment over top and you can see this is um, a bit brighter and it's picking up I would say on this one definitely more of that greenish teal shade how do you do it I'm gonna use this Clinique chubby stick and this is in the shade mighty moss all over the lid And I'm just gonna take a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm just gonna kinda buff that color out all over the lid. Add a little more. Get a little darker. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Glitter Glue and I'm just going to gently pat some of this right over top of that green color that we just laid down to my pigment. I'm just going to use my finger and press that all over top. Oh god, I can feel this going everywhere. a big fat fluffy brush and I'm just gonna really quickly just wipe that away see all gone like it never happens <laughs> so this tartlet in bloom palette and I'm gonna pick up this uh, shade right here called rebel which is like a warm reddish brown and I'm gonna put this into the crease just right above where I put that pigment because I think that since this pigment has a lot of reddish uh, dual chrome to it, that putting in this darker red shade in the crease is just, yes. And then I'm gonna take a more defined brush and I'm gonna take that same darker red shade and I'm gonna run this right along the lower lash line. And I'm going to mix into Flower Child and Smarty Pants just to blend out the edges so that we don't have any harsh lines. Finer brush and dip into Charmer, uh, which is just a white cream shade here. It's going to highlight under the brow bone. Take this sharp uh, angled brush here and I'm gonna dip into the shade Leader, this right into the lash line to help deepen up the look and create a more defined lash line. All right, so basically after my camera turned off, all I did was take uh, the Marc Jacobs eyeliner that I always use in black and I just put that right into the waterline, the tight line, tight line. Um, but what I'm actually going to be doing for this one is um, I had mentioned I had gotten that little trio set of eyeliners and this one is in the shade Jazzberry and I just swatched it right there. It's just like a maroon, purpley, beautiful color. Again, this one's going to play off of all of the duochrome shades in this look and I'm just going to put this right into the uh, lower waterline. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes by using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara.
but if you ever struggle with getting your mascara like if it smears onto your the tops of your cheek or whatever um, someone said to take a brush and dust into like a powder or a loose a loose powder and just run this over the very tips of the mascara and it won't smudge So this is the uh, just a sample size of the uh, buxom uh, what do they call this thing wildly whipped soft matte lip color oh, I swear to god I'm gonna need a double knee replacement and this is in the shade centerfold <laughs> like this color um and the applicator on this is like an angled doe foot applicator it's almost a little bit firm um which i like because it's not gonna bend so much when you're trying to get your precise lines like right around the edges like it feels like it's dried down i mean it doesn't feel wet or tacky but that color is still transferring so this is definitely not a transfer proof uh, product but that is the finished look um, I'm really happy with everything that I picked out I'm glad I spent all my money on that makeup <laughs> I am in love with the eyeshadow pigment I think that is just so stunning thank you guys so much for watching I seriously appreciate all of you and how nice you've been to me it's crazy I just you know I've always liked makeup and everything um, but it really wasn't until the last maybe like year or two that I've really really started to get into it uh, especially in the last year when everything I mean that was all I could do I couldn't do anything I just laid on a couch for like basically a year um, so all I could do was watch YouTube videos and it seriously just like saved my life but um, I do feel like that is how I really got into makeup especially in the last year um, but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I can't wait to film more videos and thank you guys so much for your love and support and I will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>